as to the person who did this, um, we're coming after you with everything we've got. Congressman Elijah Cummings commenting on Baltimore's homicide rate. One of the latest victims, a Harford County woman, Jacqueline Smith. My wife Jacqueline didn't die in vain. This was not in vain. Her husband Keith and his daughter Shavon came back to the intersection of Chase and Valley Streets in East Baltimore Monday. It's where they say Mrs. Smith gave money to a woman with a sign asking people to help feed her baby. They say a man came up to the family's car and stabbed Smith. Then he and the woman robbed her and ran away. As of December 3rd, Baltimore City has had 290 homicides as compared to 323 the same time last year. The congressman's top priority is an even bigger reduction. The mayor and I are planning a summit at the end of the month where we are going to basically plead um, with our young people to value our own lives. Saul Powell hopes the summit will cut down on violence. Every alley that you can take to stop all this stuff, take it. Evan Robinson agrees. We really do need help with our youth um, to bring Baltimore back, because Baltimore was a beautiful city. Um, we had a lot of stuff going on with Baltimore. So we do need to bring that back. So uh, I'm interested in anything they can do to make it better. And we just heard from Mayor Catherine Pugh's office just moments ago. Her office and the congressman's office are working together. And although the congressman wants to do or has mentioned doing this summit in December, it now looks like they are talking about moving it to January. Still no date set at this point. Reporting live from Northwest Baltimore, Barry Sims, WBAL-TV 11 News. All right, Barry, thank you.